There's not too many variations in the adventure coffee. There's just a couple shortcuts. And you want to retain a couple things to make sure you're getting the best cup. I mean, just basically, adventure coffee is doing the best you can with what you got. That's kind of what it comes down to. Adventure coffee, pick one marker. Good afternoon, party people. We are making a Cafe Coyone adventure coffee today. We're out here by the Kern River, in this lovely, lovely uh, camping spot. Uh, and I'm gonna teach you how to do a little coffee. So the difference is, A, you gotta know how to make coffee first. This can't be your first way of making coffee because we're gonna do a couple shortcuts because we don't have all the things that we normally have when we make coffee. So we're gonna do a couple shortcuts. Uh, what we obviously need is some good, good fresh coffee, Cafe Coyone preferred, coffee filter, grinder, little heat source, kettle, whatever, uh, and thing to hold your filter. You can do this many different ways. French press is probably the other, but we're gonna do a pour over today, and I'll talk about how you do some shortcuts to still get a pretty good cup of coffee out in the wilderness. So first things first is we need to uh, boil some water. That's what we need to do. And I didn't get any water, so I gotta go get some water. First things first is we still have to grind our beans fresh. If you're using instant coffee, uh, pre-ground coffee out in the wilderness, not really, good adventure coffee, in my opinion. You still gotta grind fresh. So you need a grinder. I'm using this grinder. I might sell these on my site. I don't know yet. But the first shortcut you're gonna do is, because you don't have a scale, you're just gonna have to know how much coffee you need. So I need 20 grams for a pour over, and I know where the 20 gram line is on this grinder, so I'm basically just gonna eyeball it and try to get it as close as I can. Just eyeball it. We're taking shortcuts here. I know that right up to these lines inside this grinder is 20 grams. So that's how much I'm gonna grind. Take a second to enjoy the wilderness as you're doing your grinding. Grinding fresh beans uh, is super important and kind of the main factor in getting a really good cup of coffee. So I highly suggest getting a little hand grinder for your house or for your vehicle when you're out camping. Now I'm doing a pour over. I'm using this uh, mirror pour over kit. This is probably the hardest part of making a pour over in the wilderness is building this pour over device, which if I could only remember how it goes. Uh oh, 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 yeah. Nailed it. A big factor in making adventure coffee is dealing with the wind. Now it's super calm right now. Oh, we're boiling. We are boiling. So it's super calm right now, but usually when you put your filters in, uh, to the thing, it, they fly away. So what you want to do is just pour a little bit of water in here. But you want to rinse your filter anyways. Ooh. Adventure coffee, you basically make a mess. It's kind of how you got to do it. But that's a part of the fun. So you wet your filter, you preheat your cup. Because if it's cold out, you're going to want a hot cup of coffee. And just into nature. Alright, so now we got our eyeballed our 20 grams. We got our wet filter, and we're gonna pour this guy in here. Get all the grounds in there. All nice and good. Now, we are not pouring with a gooseneck kettle. And as if you could notice, when I poured the water in for the filter, it made a huge mess. So all you're gonna do is kind of do your best. The other tip slash factor in doing a pour over in the wilderness is you basically, that your goal is you wanna bloom it because you're not weighing everything, you're not timing everything, you're just kind of making coffee, but if you give your coffee a good chance to bloom, then it'll taste a lot, lot better. So you don't want to just go crazy with it, but as long as you get a bloom, you're good to go. So we're going to bloom our coffee here a little bit. It's always a little messy making uh, adventure coffee, but like I said, the bloom is the biggest factor, so you let it bloom for 45 seconds, and then just basically make a pour over until your cup is full. There's not too many variations in the adventure coffee. There's just a couple shortcuts. And you want to retain a couple things to make sure you're getting the best cup. Grind fresh, eyeball the right dose, and bloom your coffee. You do that, and you don't make a huge, huge mess, you're probably gonna have a good cup after this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Another tip is I mean, this goes for pour overs. You just want to keep the coffee bed hot. You don't want to let it drain out. So you want to keep water in there, keep it all nice and warm. 
so it brews evenly. I mean, just basically, adventure coffee is doing the best you can with what you got. That's kind of what it comes down to. It's looking good. It's looking good. You just gotta take your time. You're in nature. It's no rush. Just enjoy making your coffee. That's all there is to it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the process. It's definitely probably the most epic place I've made a coffee before. As a reference, we are using Cafe Colion, the first draft, which is a delightful blend of Ethiopian and Colombian coffee. Perfect for your next adventure. All right, we are just about done here. We are going to pull, filter off. And now all there is left to do is to sit back and enjoy your perfect adventure coffee. Well, not perfect. Tasty. Definitely tasty. Ooh, that is, oh, that's good. That is good. I've done myself. All right, so reviewing that, you gotta grind fresh, eyeball your dose, bloom your coffee, try not to make a mess. What is that, four? Four things, uh, a couple little shortcuts to make your best coffee. Same things apply if you're doing a French press or any other method out here. You got a mocha pot or whatever you wanna do. But if you follow those four things, you will have a fantastic adventure coffee. You'll be out in nature, drinking delicious coffee in no time. Cheers to that. If you want to try the first draft or one of these fantastic mugs, head over to cafecolion.com. If you want to watch Glam Bots and other things other than coffee, hit the subscribe button. Comment below for how you make adventure coffee. This is literally just how I do it. So let me know how you do it. And maybe I'll try some of your tips. All right, cool. I will see you next time. Peace. Peace.